straight after filming my stacking the shelves post because it is lovely day outside and the light is great for filming so I thought let's do this. Anyway, I want to get on and do my March, no I mean my April 2013 wrap up today. Um, mainly because I need to get it out of the way and it is two days into April, um, to May already so yeah. I read nine books this month, one ebook and eight normal books so I'm just going to go and get started. First book I read is The Harvesting by Melanie Karzak and I got sent this Kindle copy for review for a blog tour that I did sometime last month and yeah, um, the post is up on my blog which I will link below. I thought this book was okay, it wasn't fantastic and it disappointed me quite a bit. Um, it, it, it's got a great concept and it's a post-apocalyptic novel. Unfortunately, the characters were a bit stiff and boring and they weren't really, really, really realistic. Anyway, I give this book 3 out of 5 stars because the entire thing just wasn't up to my kind of standard of novel reading, I suppose that's how you would say it. And it just didn't capture me like I hoped it would, but it was still an okay book and I would recommend it to some people if you are interested in a kind of um, post-apocalyptic zombie novel. I read Eve by Anna Carey and oh my gosh, I absolutely adored this book. It was absolutely bloody fantastic. I went through this book in something like two days, less than two days, with loads of breaks because I had to kind of stop myself from reading it all in one go because it would have been a waste. But this was really, really good. I gave this five out of five stars. The characters were, were incredible and really well um, written and their personalities were amazing. Um, the world building was fantastic and there was incredible detail and just I just loved everything about this book. So yeah, five out of five stars and I can't wait to pick up the sequel to this. I read Skinned by Robin Wasserman. Wasserman, I think that's how you say it. And this it was a pretty good book. I wasn't expecting a whole lot from it because I bought it expecting loads and then when I finally got around to reading it I had heard a couple of negative reviews and I thought well I might as well try it and I actually was really really pleasantly surprised by this um the characters were great uh, I think the whole kind of concept of this book was fantastic and I just I really liked it I thought that it really kind of captured me and I felt kind of the emotions of the character and everything like that and I gave this four out of five stars it was The Body Finder by Kimberly Dirting, and I've been wanting to read this book for ages, but I've only just, I only just managed to get around to reading it last month because it was at the bottom of my to be read pilot when I bought it. And wow, another amazing book this was. This was absolutely friggin' fantastic. I love murder mysteries, especially ones that involve teens, maybe because I read a lot of young adult novels. That's strange. But yes, I thought it was amazing. I love the whole concept of this as well the way the main character can sense the echoes of dead bodies and everything is so amazing and I went through this in like a day. I had to put this book down on several occasions because I was speed reading for it because it was such an amazing book and I wanted to pace myself through it and I just love this book and I've, I'm just amazed by it and I can't wait to get the sequel to this as well and I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. Hidden by Marianne Curly, I think that's how you say her name, and this was sent to me for a review from Bloomsbury a few months back, and I only just got onto reading it last month, and I was really excited when I started reading this book because I thought it would be absolutely fantastic. I have a review of this on my blog, and I will link that below if you are interested. I was very disappointed, unfortunately, with this novel. The first half of the book was quite good, and I was expecting to give it the 4 out of 5 stars, but when the action started and everything started to come into play, everything just kind of went downhill for me, and I just didn't enjoy it the way I thought I would, so I ended up giving this 3 out of 5 stars. I read Inside Out by Maria V. Snyder, and this was the first book I've ever read, uh, this is the first book I've ever read by Maria, and I really, really enjoyed it. I didn't have high hopes for this one, because... I wasn't sure whether it would be that interesting for me and I picked it up really cheap but anyway and because I thought I would try it but I was really really pleasantly surprised again because it was just a really great novel um, the characters were really well developed and the entire world was so interesting and I found myself 
constantly flicking the pages and unable to put it down. And I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. The next book I read is a very short book and I got this for my birthday and it is Obsidian White Shades of Violet, The White Light Chronicles. And this is by J.R. Truman and I got this for my birthday from my mum's friend and I wanted to read it because it was such a short, I think it's only something like 150 pages, but it, it, it was good. For starters, I love the cover, it's gorgeous. For a second, I thought that it was quite rushed, it was, oh, it was, the characters talked really strangely, um, the writing was weird, and there were quite a few errors in the punctuation, mainly because this is a self-published novel, and I think it just wasn't proof checked properly but overall it was a fun read and I actually did enjoy it but I gave this straight out of 5 stars because it was just lacking in quite a few aspects but yeah and then I read Clarity by Kim Harrington and I got this book for Christmas and I'm only just getting around to reading it again because I'm really behind on my book reading and this book was absolutely fantastic and this is another murder mystery kind of novel and I've been wanting to read this one for ages and it's, it was just amazing. Um, the characters again were fantastic and really well developed and they were interesting and funny and the whole plot line was just so interesting. I was constantly wondering who was the murderer and what was happening. I was constantly like, oh, maybe it's that. But actually it could be, could be that person. I was constantly going around I was like, no. And then when I read the ending I was like, really? <laughs> But yeah, I love this book and I gave it 5 out of 5 stars because it was really, really incredible. And the last book that I read in the month of April was The Sky is Everywhere by Jandy Nelson. And this is about a girl whose sister dies and her coping with the aftermath of, and falling in love and everything like that. And I really, really, really enjoyed this novel. I flipped through it really quickly and I loved the way it was set out. Throughout the novel there are random scraps of bits of paper that the main character has written on and she tosses them away to random places like she finds a piece of paper on the ground and she writes a poem or something on it and she leaves it in different places and there's every few chapters there every chapter there is at least one of these and it just keeps going like that and it was amazing and I really really enjoyed reading this book I finished it really, really quickly, even though it was something like nearly over 350 pages, but it was just such a quick and easy and light read in my opinion, but it did make me cry at one point because it's just so sad and you can feel really connect. I felt really connected to the characters and the emotions they were feeling and everything like that. So I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars and yeah. Those are the books that I read in April 2013. I read quite a few and I was expecting to not read as many because it was nearing the end of April and suddenly I'd only read like four books. But then the last ones I just read really, really quickly for some reason. I don't know what happened. But yes, I think that's pretty good and I'm way ahead on my Goodreads challenge of reading 70 books this year. So yeah. What books did you read in April this year? Don't forget to leave me a comment. Happy reading. Bye.